It's important when looking at the printed recipe for this pattern to note that the overbody and the legs made out of larva lace can be peeled to the desired sizes like a piece of string cheese. Start by attaching your black 8 aught thread to the midsection of the hook. Then grab the three strands of black floral fiber that will serve as the tail. Secure them and wrap the thread back to a point that is about level with the bottom of the tungsten bead. Then return the thread to just behind the bead. Clip the tail fibers to about half the length of the hook shank. On the far side of the shank, tie in the strand of larva lace just behind the bead and wrap back to the point about where the tail starts. Then tie in the hurl by the tip with a few wraps and return the thread to the back side of the bead. Grab a hold of the hurl with a pair of rotating hackle pliers and wrap the hurl forward to about the two thirds point of the shank. Once you've reached that point, tie it off and clip the excess. To start the next step, I prefer to rotate the hook upside down in the vise. Once my first or second wrap is laid down and I have a solid foundation, I'll rotate the hook upright and continue on. It's important as you move through this step to wiggle the lace from side to side to ensure that a sufficient amount of fibers peek through the body segments. Once I've secured this and clipped my excess, I'll dampen my fingertips to brush the fibers back and keep them out of the way. Wrap the thread back to about the two-thirds position and place a small drop of zappa gap on the top of the shank to help secure the wing case. When you bring in your thin skin wing case, score it on each side about an eighth of an inch from the back side of the piece. This will allow it to sit as a flat platform that will help you in finishing off the fly. After you've secured the thin skin, tie in the two strands of Peacock Crystal Flash on the far side of the shank. Following this, begin to tie in the one third strand of larva lace that will serve as your legs. If the legs don't sit exactly where you want when you first tie them in, give them a tug or a twist to move them into the desired position. After you've tied in the lateral legs, tie in the third set with a few cross wraps directly in the middle of the thorax. Wrap the two strands of Peacock Crystal Flash forward, wiggling them between the legs and covering the thorax until you've reached the back side of the bead. At this point, tie them off and clip the excess. As you pull the thin skin forward, secure it with one single wrap. Before further securing it, give it a good tug. This will remove any slack or humps or lumps that are going to be unwanted in a finish fly. After you've given it that firm tug, throw down another wrap on the back side of it, several wraps in front of it, and come in with a pair of small fine tipped scissors to clip off the excess. Use a four to five turn whip finish to secure the fly and finish it off. Come in with your clear cure hydro and create a smoothly tapered clear coat over the wing case, starting from the back side of the wing buds to just behind the bead. Hit it with some UV light, 
flip it upside down in the vise, and repeat the same process for the bottom of the thorax. I prefer to carry this fly in sizes 12 and 16 in my favorite three color combinations. Bonefish tan, black olive, and copper brown. It's a highly effective addition to any nymph rig and deadly when fished as a dropper to suspended fish in gin clear water.